Stay tuned for Air Guy Detective. Texas. Once again, we are at the 2024 SHOT Show, and we are at the Vera Air Guns booth. And Gio, once again, we're lucky enough to get him. He's going to give us a walkthrough on their products. So pretty excited to show you some of this stuff. They're always coming up with some new innovative stuff. So let's see what we got. Gio, nice seeing you once Good again. Yeah. So tell us what you got here. So I guess the biggest thing that people probably notice is the largest item here, and that is our new PCP rifle. We're calling it the two the two fifty Z. The two fifty Z. The two fifty Z. Yep. Okay. So it's going to be available in uh, twenty two and twenty five caliber. Okay. And in twenty five caliber, uh, without having to really fiddle with it much, you're going to be able to expect up to fifty foot pounds. Fifty? Seriously? 50, yep. Fifty foot pounds. And you'll get three magazines worth uh, okay. of shots at that level. In twenty two, we've got it. Pretty well, you know, 34 foot pounds. Obviously, you want to yeah. shoot slugs. Exactly. You can do that very easily because we have an externally adjustable regulator. Look at those teeny little gauges. How yeah. awesome is that, though? It's, it, right. it's very stealth. I like the stealth look of that. Yeah, so we try to integrate everything, you know, with the stock and, and, and yeah. such. So this is a early pre production sample. Gotcha. We're going to change a couple things like. We're not going to have the safety on the trigger. We're actually going to move that up in the stock. We'll gotcha. Take the cross bolt though. It's got a big beefy bolt handle though. Nice. And uh, it really cocks really nicely. Uh, if you want to take a look at yeah. that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, nice and For smooth. For a bolt, it's not. And you can decock it obviously. Right. You yeah. Decock. Yeah. So always nice. got to have that feature. Oh yeah. No, I like this. And then this has like an AR style grip on it. Right. So the grip is an AR compatible grip. Um, you'll be able to use pretty much any AR grip as long as it doesn't have the beaver tail. Gotcha. Same with the butt stock. So okay. you can have a So it's compatible for that right. too. Exactly. And then this looks like it's set up for your M locks. Right. So you want to put so, yeah, rails on there. M locked on the sides as well as on the bottom. Nice. Now, tell us about. Because you know what you don't see? You don't see a tank on this. Right, right? exactly. So you don't, there's, no, there's no tank on this. So, so yeah, show like, us where is the air on this one. Like on this one, the air obviously is stored down here. Yes. You got your barrel here. So yep. what we've done with this one is the reservoir there is stored around the barrel. So it, so there, you have the shroud, and then the, it would right. be like the air is in the shroud. Yeah. It would be like the air is in the shroud. Wow. The shroud's just been That's beefed pretty impressive. up, made yeah. from 70, 75 aluminum. Yeah. So the gun's actually pretty light for Yeah, I noticed size. that. It wasn't, so, wasn't heavy at all. It's got wow. a nice long barrel in there. Yep. Another benefit, though, is obviously the barrel's secured uh, in both ends with a very rigid so it shroud. keeps it very so. stable. It really does. Very stable. But I love the looks. The looks is oh, just yeah. fantastic. Could you look at that? It, wow. it makes it look a little more firearm-like yes. by not having the extra air chamber. So It does. And yeah. what are you guys aiming for production-wise? So price point, we're looking right at $400. Okay. And then when do you think they're going to be actually developed, maybe in an on-the-market? Uh, it should be available uh, well before the end of the year. Okay. So. so maybe in time for Christmas. Yeah. It'll be on your next Christmas list there. Yeah, exactly. that, that is pretty impressive. It really is. And then I see this one is in green. Are the other ones going to be in green? Yeah, or? we're looking at a couple of different colors. We've okay. got this green. We've done like a desert tan or a FD. Nice. So. Yeah. Nice. Very impressive. I like that. And it yeah. has your own scope on there too, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, we got our own yep. scope on there. Yep. It does have a Picatinny rail and a lot of rail space yes. to mount your optics. It's just so. overall, it's very, it, it's a good looking rifle. It really is. It's a sweet gun. I've shot it quite a bit in pre-production yeah. testing and done yep. mostly 177 testing. We're probably not going to offer it in 177, okay. but it is an absolute. But like the 22 driver. and 25 sounds great. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. So yeah, that's 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 a good-looking rifle, no question about that. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun developing this. It's it's getting close. Yeah. 
But I don't want to promise anything too soon. A lot of times that happens. Exactly. Shows, There's always so. delays. We always know that. Right. Anytime stuff is manufactured. I'm pushing, push that date out there. But if you're not subscribed to our email list, be sure to sign yeah. up for that because we do announce new oh, products. There you go. So good, good, good. Be first in line that way. Yes. Of course, we have our 1100Z. Uh, we've got it dressed up in a Turkish walnut stock. We're still working on getting the details worked out with that stock. Gotcha. So, and then these, um, you guys sell regulators for no, these, I never have right? We do. So, we had talked about them last year that we were going to have a regulator available for it. We actually do have those kits available now. Okay. So well, that's cool. So you guys have an 1100, and you want to set it up with a regulator they got it for you right so like that's something that the customer has to install but we, we yeah. shot a pretty detailed video on how to disassemble the gun safely install the regulator and make sure it's a pretty it's simple process over. overall it's pretty easy yeah. especially once you've done it a time or two so exactly yeah it's exactly. not bad at all show us what else you got here so we have a couple of uh we got a, a airsoft and a bb version so a lot of you will probably recognize uh, this gun from maybe some movies. Oh yeah. Uh, so these are getting kind of popular. This is yep. really early on. We have a few things we need to iron out first. So I don't good have look, a date. Good on looking it. gun though. Good looking gun. The one thing I can't say that's really neat about this one is the blowback. Yeah. The blowback is really strong. Oh nice. Um, velocity 350-ish. You know. Yeah. You always kind of have to pick and choose what you like. You know what you want out of it. But the blowback is, is pretty convincing. It's, but I like the magwell guide. I like the texture grips. Oh yeah. That's a solid. That's a very it's a solid. It's a lot of gun. Another thing is adjustable. Sights. Adjustable sights. What are we always talking about? Adjustable right. sights. So that's, many. Of it doesn't them get don't any have better that, than that. So. No. 99% of them don't have the adjustable sights. Exactly. So I'm really excited about that. That's cool. I just got a few things I want to dial in, make sure they're right. Um, first, what's this so. model? Did, does it have a we, name I mean, yet? this is early. No, on, we don't so even know yet. Okay. But hey, that's something that's coming so. in the future. We got to like that. we're working on. I like that. And of course, we have our good old standbys. We got our yep. 357 series, uh, yep. the, uh, 45 series. Uh, these yep. are pretty popular. Um, Gotta like it. Yeah, for sure. What do you got sitting here, just out of curiosity? So That's just a good looking little rifle. This is a, uh, a little airsoft gun that we're working on. Okay. It's based off of our 400 airsoft. So we had the 400E. Yes, yes. We decided to do an airsoft receiver that looked very similar. It's okay. made from a nice resin. And then this is just a it, more Is this gonna be iteration. electric? This is yeah. electric. Okay. Now, it shoots a six millimeter airsoft. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's it's a different experience. Like if yeah. you're more into the air gun side of things, yes. if you haven't tried airsoft, yeah. it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we and get it a, is. It we is. get a ton of questions. People yeah. like, you know, what gun do you recommend for like pest control? Yeah, and like none of these. No, like, no, no. As far no. as like if you got a dog getting into yep. your trash can, yep. you really shouldn't be shooting with steel BBs. No, no. But these plastic BBs, these airsoft guns. Yeah, that's a nice, a, a nice little story. warning. Yeah, exactly. a little sting, and It'll then sting there you go. Let you yep. know, but yeah, so, no, yeah. that's good. good looking though. So it, it's a combat it's version. It, yeah, for uh, sure. Now, are you guys considering making this maybe a steel BB as well? Uh, at this time, no. No. Okay. Uh, we're kind of going a different direction uh, as far as our uh, okay our electric power plant. Gotcha. So so yeah, there should be some exciting stuff in the future. These guys are always coming up with something. Sure. All right. And then I guess moving on, we do carry pumps for our PCPs. Great. Um, we've got the 1200G. I think didn't we do a video on the? I did do it. That actually, that rifle actually performed really well. And it's a great entry level brake barrel. It really is. Having the option of 177 and 22 in yep. the same gun. Yeah, we did a full full video on that. You guys yeah. can check that out. In fact, I'll leave you guys a link on that one. Sure. So this is, you know, brake barrels are a great way for people to really get in the air gun oh, space. Oh, without a doubt. There's a lot less to figure out. Yep, so. yep, very simple. I think they simple still they have a real real use case in, in yeah. today's market. Yep. So we got another brake barrel here. This is our TPR 1300. Okay. Uh, this one really packs a punch. Uh, that Good velocity. Huh? Is talking oh, okay. the velocity in 177. There you go. So. You know, most of us, we're not going to shoot at 1,300 feet per second. We're going to feed something heavier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Definitely. It's still, Definitely. yeah. Still have some good energy, you know, really gets that good energy exactly. of the velocity. But 
that's where the accuracy is. Yeah, you got to so. you, you got to slow that down a little bit. Right, exactly. Get, get that weight up there and get the good accuracy. That's for sure. Yeah, it's it's a fun gun. Okay, for sure. Nice. And of course, our 1100Z is yep. the standard offered in black. And we were talking the about these, camo. where you guys saw the wood version there that right. they're working on. And, and, the, and these can be set up offered. for the regulator. Exactly. All of them. Yep. Right. Nice. And they do pretty well with the regulator. In um, 177, you know, you get that really, you keep all the power, unless yeah. you're really chasing high end slug power. Yeah. Uh, in 22, you do take a bit of a hit in power, but what you lose there, you gain in consistency. So. And when you have that consistency, you got the good accuracy. Exactly. But you guys saw, I did a review on one of these too, and they're actually, that's a really good choice for an entry level uh, PCP. It really is. For quite sure. the performer. And now with the regulator, I, I, you got to love the regulated guns. Because oh, yeah. then you know exactly how many shots you're going to get, and it does give you that consistency and accuracy. It really does. Tremendous. Yeah. There, there are some trade-offs with this because it wasn't designed to be a regulated gun. It doesn't really yeah. suffer in 177, but in 22 you do take a power hit. But I mean, if you can't kill a squirrel at 20 yards, yeah. you probably be, need a little more time behind the trigger. Yeah, or exactly. 20 foot-pounds. Exactly, you know? exactly. So. Is that what you're looking at with the regulator? About yeah, with the regulator pounds? in 22, yeah. about 20 foot-pounds. Yeah. Which you is still plenty score, enough to do your... Exactly. To, you, to, you could do really small game or pest control right. with that. Yes. Exactly. So. Me it works. Yeah. Not to mention be a great blinker. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. It's yeah. perfect for backyard. Yeah. In fact, yeah. in that configuration, it's very, very quiet. Yeah. So quiet and then, and then quiet, quiet with the oh god, yeah, with yeah. the action. And those are designed. Those have the half by twenty on. Correct? Exactly. There so you, you can throw just about any moderator yeah. on there, and you can find that with the regulator. Yeah. You, you can get a hold of our buddy uh, Terry at Buckerell. He's exactly. got something to go right on there for you. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Yep. Okay, I see something different here. So yeah, we have a few different things here. We've talked about the 1866 for a couple of years. Yep. We finally got it. So now we didn't stop there. Uh, we went ahead and we added the option of rifled barrels. So nice. They ship with a smooth board. But if you want a 22 caliber rifled barrel, you can do that, um, and it comes with the shells. So so just just. Just to clarify for some of these guys, this is a shell fed, kind of like a skull filled, right? Exactly. It, it takes the shells and then it comes with the BB shells. Right. But you can upgrade it with a rifled barrel exactly. and you can do 22 caliber. Right. Now, do you do 177 we as do well? 177 or as both. Well, so nah, that's pretty young. It gives you a lot of flexibility. That's a lot of flexibility. If you just want to blink on the cheek, you got a smooth board. Yep. Uh, if you want a little more accuracy or you want a little more punch, yeah. you know, you'd either go with the 177 rifle or the 22 rifle barrel. You gotta like that. You gotta like that. It is it's a lot of fun. And you have two different finishes on here? We do. We got yeah. the black finish that comes in at a lower price point. Okay. And then we got the gold finish. It is a little higher price point, but I think the, gotcha. the looks on it kind of. And, and I like it. the fact you got a little teeny Picatinny rail on there, which I see. Right. You put a red dot on there. Exactly. So guys like me that can't focus that well, you got a red dot. Yeah. Right. You got to like that. And it does have flip up iron sights. Okay. So that is the only adjustability. You got three basic levels of yeah. elevation. Yeah. And uh, really cool. Really, though. You can lob. Lob well, these are not light. This is a nice heavy duty. This feels solid. Feels like a Very firearm. authentic. Yeah, yes, it feels like a firearm. It really does. Oh yeah, yeah, you guys did a tremendous job on these. And this, I'm telling you, this isn't real wood, right? No. It's you not. wouldn't know it. You would not know it. No. I mean, just the look, the feel, the whole bit. Wow. Yeah, it's incredible because even the feel is, is very similar. To it really wood. is. Yeah. Oh yeah. This yeah. No, it weird. could definitely fool you. In fact, sure. yeah, I'm, I'll come out with a review on one of these real soon for you. Definitely. And then I guess we can just move on. Yeah, let's move uh, up here. We have our 1858 pistols. Okay. They're available in gold and black. Gotcha. This is just a BB pistol. It's it's not like our Schofields. If you have our Schofields, you know, they're metal, they're heavy. Yep. They feel, you know, really high quality. This is a lower price point uh, planker, basically. It's a nice little planker. And so... You see we have a, a magazine on the side. Okay. So instead of having a six shot, you know, you got 17 shots. Nice. So you spend a lot more time shooting. It is single action. So. Perfect. 
Yes. You know, how perfect is that? You got kids or somebody who's just new to air guns, you want to get into CO2s. This is like oh, yeah. tremendous. What's something like that retail for? Uh, I think with like three CO2s and BBs and the gun, they're around $55. Oh, come on, so. that's a minimal investment. That's right. terrific. And you yeah. have everything you need. Exactly. To get uh, started except for on the safety glasses. Exactly. Everything else that you need to get exactly. shooting. Exactly. So. To get started on it. That's terrific. And then and, course, and you have it in a black version as well. We got it in the black okay. and the gold. And yeah. Uh, it's definitely it's a fun gun. Nice, nice. Good way to teach people how to shoot. The single action especially just yep. makes it that much. It slows you down and forces you to think. So exactly. I like good that. Good training tool. I like that. But of course, we have our Schofields. Uh, okay. Most of you are probably familiar with Yeah, them. and I've done a video on those for you guys, that's for sure. Right, exactly. What, what do you got here? So here we have rifle barrel pins. So those of you that are familiar with the Schofield, you know, it's basically best uh, with BBs. It's got yes. a smooth bore barrel. Yep. So you have the BB shells exactly that come with it, the whole shells. bit. Yep. You can shoot pellets at yes. close range, they're okay. Yep. But you know you you know you can do better yes. if you had better. So yes. that's why we brought out a rifle barrel kit. Again, we have it in 177. That's been on the market already. Okay. We've got 22. We had a little manufacturing issue, so we're getting that resolved. Hopefully in the next month, these will be nice. available for sale. So if you currently own a BB Schofield, for a minimal investment, you can turn this into a pellet shooter. Right. And this comes with a rifled barrel mm -hmm. and the pellet shells. And the shells. That's just amazing. That's just amazing. It is. So yeah. to be able to do that. So yeah, we'll take a closer look at that, guys. I'll do I'll do a review on those barrels at some point. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. fun, especially in 22. Calibre. Yeah, because 22 is completely different. It is. It's a whole and, different. Experience. And how many times have we asked manufacturers that put out these BB pistols, come up with a rifle barrel? Why don't you have a rifle barrel version? These guys did better than that. They actually sell the rifle barrel version that you can upgrade the BB version, so you don't even have to go buy a separate gun. You just upgrade. It. Right. So appreciate it's, you guys listening. It's a pretty yes. easy process. Yes. Uh, you know, you basically just need to be able to drift out a couple of pins, just some basic disassembly. We have videos that show how to do it. And I'll it. cover that detail for you guys, I awesome. promise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so okay. it, it's a pretty pretty easy thing yes. to do. So if you're not into gunsmithing and you're kind of hesitant on this, it, it's really not that bad of a job. There you so, go. Yeah. All right. That's outstanding. I'm just tickled to death you offered the barrel, rifle barrels for the rifle as well. For sure. You sure. Guys, Why not yeah. keep that momentum keep, going? Keep it going, yeah. For sure. Yep. Gotta like it. So these are powered by CO2. Okay. If you live in a colder climate, you know that your CO2 guns are some parts of the year. Yep. You're not gonna use them yep. unless you're using yep. them indoors. Yep. Yep. So it's, it's, it, yeah, it definitely, your climate definitely dictates your velocity when it comes it to CO2. Yeah, so yeah. the ambient temperature is the key on those. Yep. Exactly, so that's where these multi-pumps come in. Yeah. Um, this was our first item under the Mara brand. The that's nice, what you guys first started with. That's, yes. that's yes. how it all began. Yes, that's where it all began. So, Very popular gun. I reviewed those for you guys. Very simple. That's a great gun if you want to start out in air guns, that's for sure. The other nice thing that I like about multi pumps is the variable power. So, you know, if you want to shoot quietly, give it two or three pumps, you're good to go. Yeah. If you want to hunt and you, you're good with open sights, yeah. then 10 pumps, you can put down squirrels with these. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I can't believe the velocity of these things. Oh, yeah. And they're accurate. Yeah, they, yep. they scream and they're accurate. Yeah. We do have a lower velocity one, it's a single pump pneumatic. Um, we got a Rosie and a Junior. They're kind of more Junior. In fact, I believe I did a video on these and, and actually showcased that. So I'll leave you a link for that one as well. Yeah, exactly. And then we come over to my favorite uh, multi pump, and that's the Sportsman 900. I love the tactical look of that one. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. And it shoulders, it fits me well. It's yeah. got all of the benefits of the uh, 1866 multi pump, yeah. but it also comes with a dovetail rail, so you can okay. mount an optic. Nice. I generally upgrade my optic just a little bit. Of course there, you do. Of course you do. It, it exactly. Really well but it's got open sights on it as well. It does. And, and it, look, fiber optic it looks like fiber so. optic. Yeah. What do these retail for? Just out of curiosity. Uh, these you know, are, roughly. I think roughly around seventy dollars. So. Well under hundred bucks. See. Yeah. These guys give you lots of options if you can't afford a lot and you want to get into air guns. Definitely check out Barrow. That's for sure. That's how I got my start in air guns. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, I have some more expensive air guns, but yeah. I spend a lot more time 
with the budget things. Sometimes they're so much fun though. They really are. You set up some cans and that. Just exactly. the challenges. Yeah. It's so, easy to shoot. Definitely. Shooting isn't fun. You're doing yeah. something. You're wrong. You're definitely right? doing something wrong. Yeah. These definitely they add some of that fun. So if you've kind of gotten bored with you know maybe some of the high end stuff. Yeah. That boringly accurate. Yep. Try your hand with one of these. There you go. There you <laughs> put, go. Put some of that fun yeah. back in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's so. awesome. That's great. Then I guess moving on over here. Yeah. Uh, by now, I think everybody's probably heard about the 400E. Last year, we did come out with the tan variant. Nice. So. And uh, again, guys, I did a full video on these. I'll leave you a link for these as well. These are the electric BB guns, and they are amazing. Absolutely amazing. They're a lot of fun. Yep. And last year, we did upgrade the speed loader. Uh, we brought in that uh, metal yes. rod. Yes, yep. And, I mean, that's a game changer. And, like, I found I'm using that for, you know, CO2 pistols. Basically, yep. any BB gun duty now, I've got the speed loader yep. uh, with me. I tried a lot of the plastic ones from yep. everybody. As well. Yeah, they got a beautiful heavy duty speed loader. Yeah. I'll showcase that so, in one of these upcoming videos for even you. Even if you don't have the 400D, if yeah. you find messing around with BBs is just tedious. Oh, no, or, it'll work in it, it'll work anything. In so many yeah. Different oh, things, yeah, so. definitely. Definitely. And then, of course, we have the Bar and 9. That's a classic. That's classic. It's got the fun switch on there, full auto. Yep, full auto. Uh, we got it also in the airsoft version. Nice. And then, of course, we have our 1911. That's that's one of my favorites. This it, one's my favorite out yeah, of this. It's definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. That we have, so. Very realistic. Great blowback on it. it. Is. Yeah. It's got I a think good those other to pistols it. we looked at are going to give them a run for their money. They, they just might. We'll have to see. We'll yeah. have to see. So. Yeah. It's just that, you know, that's kind of a 1911 with all the bells and whistles. Right, yeah. it really is. Yeah, which is good. So these are kind of in a higher price point. We do have some lower price point items. We talked about the 45 over there. Yes. We also have the 380 here. The little um, 380, yeah. And okay. I mean, again, low price point, no reason not to get trigger time. And, and what's something like this run? I think those are right around the 30, 35 30. dollar price point. Guys, there's no excuse. You want to start in air guns, bear is the spot yeah. to do it. And Definitely. like even with these, like even like just dry fire practice, yeah. they've got that long trigger pull yeah. that you typically have on a self-defense personal carry yeah. type gun. I mean trigger time is trigger time. And yeah. This is a good way to get it nice on a budget. So nice. wow. I think that that really wraps just about everything up. There you uh, go. We do have a 400 uh, Airsoft. We kind of talked about the small version. Yeah. That one's probably a little far out there on release. We okay. do have, you know, the 400 Airsoft also. Okay. And that's coming out this that's year. That's coming so. out well. So you guys that are into Airsoft as well. You guys haven't tried Airsoft. I mean, I'm normally into the pellet and BB type thing, but I do have a few Airsofts. They're actually some fun. You can actually have some fun. Yeah. So there's room for both in everybody's collection. For sure. Anyway. Well, Gio, thank you. Again, it's really nice seeing you. And yeah, Bear's doing some amazing stuff. We're literally looking forward to the, the, you know, the new stuff that you're coming out with. I appreciate it. So that'll be great. All right. Awesome. Thanks Take for care. Bye. All right. Too. Thanks again.